Hey Pixies and welcome to Disney's Beach Club Resort. Today we are going to be touring a standard view room and I'll be sharing some helpful info for staying in these rooms as well. So if you were excited to take a peek inside, click the thumbs up button and let's jump into it. Here at Beach Club, there is only one building housing everything from the rooms to all of your dining options, the gift shop, and more. So getting around on those not so great weather days isn't an issue because everything is conveniently located. When it comes to transportation, you're going to have access to the boats or Skyliners, which can fly you over to Hollywood Studios. So you're about 10 to 15 minutes away from Hollywood Studios via either one of those transportation options. You're going to be walking distance to Epcot's International Gateway, which is about an eight to 10 minute walk. Plus you will have the option to take a bus to Magic Kingdom, Animal Kingdom, Disney Springs, or either of the water parks. And then for keeping those hangry monsters away, you're gonna find quite a few dining options here. So you can rest easy knowing that you'll have a quick service option at Beach Club Marketplace. You've got the ice cream shop, Beaches and Cream Soda Shop, which is awesome. You've got Cape May, which is a wonderful character breakfast in the morning and then seafood in the evening. Plus at your sister resort right next door, you're gonna have Yachtsman Steakhouse and Ale and Compass, which is also a not miss restaurant, plus multiple bars and lounge with quick bites too. So you're not gonna get hungry when you're staying here at Beach Club Resort. And today's room tour was actually hosted by, well, you. And I know you're probably like, wait a minute, I didn't pay for that room. In a way you did. If you have watched my videos, liked, commented, subscribed to my channel, shopped using my links down below, if you've let commercials play through, then you have supported my channel financially because I do benefit when you guys do that. So I really, really appreciate that and cannot Thank you enough for all the love and support that you show my little family. So thank you, thank you, thank you, because I am literally living my dream and in one of my bucket list resorts because of you. So thank you for being here, thank you for watching, and now on to that room tour. So welcome to a Beach Club standard view room. So as you come in the door here, we're just gonna start out on this right side. You do have your little beverage center going on. Have some little beach artwork of Mickey and Minnie up there cuddling on the beach and flying their kites. I know, kind of irrelevant to the room, but some of you like those little details, so I wanted to show that. You do have the actual Keurig in this room, which is pretty nice to see with all of the little Joffreys and Twinnings teas, all of the little fixins that you need for making your coffee in the morning, some uh, to-go cups if you wanna use that to take it to the park. You have your little ice bucket here um, or ice the box I guess you could call that there so you've got that a little bit of counter space not a ton of counter space here but you do obviously have enough room for setting like a little cooler bag some reusable mugs things like that here in this top you do have a drawer we just have a little reusable snack bag with some um, liquid IV in it because staying hydrated at Disney is very important and then coming down here you have what appears to be a mini fridge you guys it doesn't have the beverage cooler sticker so I'm kind of surprised because the website says that these rooms have a mini fridge in them it is cooling to 37 degrees and I have it set full blast so we've got the water in there chilling so that is good to know that it actually does at least this room has a full-on mini fridge so I don't know maybe they've just not switched it out yet or maybe these rooms just have mini fridges I'm not 100% on that but I will take this one and then coming around to the other kind of side of the right side of the wall here as soon as you come in the door you have a rather large closet. These doors both slide either way. And as you can see, there is a large rod here for hanging anything, garment bags, clothes, things like that. You do have your iron up here in the top. Here on the right side of the wall, you have your safe. And then coming down, it does have a luggage rack there in the back that you can use. And then I have just have our owner's locker and some a little laundry basket stowed away in there to keep those dirty clothes up and off the floor. So that's really nice. And then again, like I mentioned, these doors just slide the other way. And I have a suitcase propped up on another luggage rack that was in there. There are two. And then again, same thing on this side, more hangers, more space to hang things, and then some extra pillows and blankets if you get chilly in the room. So you do have a bit of storage space even up top here, which is really nice. You could set some suitcases and bags, things like that, which are pretty cool. Spinning around to the bathroom. Okay, 
this high is quite large. Like this opening and everything is like really, really big, very roomy in this portion of the bathroom, the sink portion here. So this uh, trash can was actually over in another part of the room, but I moved it in here to kind of fit our needs a little bit better. That other trash can was actually sitting there. Here on this right wall, you do have just a little rod for some towels, things like that. You have a little box back there on the back with some washcloths. You do have all of your Disney toiletries here so you have your soap mouthwash actually in this room you have your body lotion and a couple of vanity kits shower cap things like that and then over on the left side there you do have your tissues so you do have a little shelf here which is pretty nice it is fairly deep it's not quite as deep as my like makeup bag here is but it's somewhere that you can like set some things up out of the way you do have quite a bit of counter space here on the top and two sinks which is really really nice when you're getting ready in the morning and everybody's trying to get out the door for a rope drop or if you're here for a conference something like that you do have a bit of room there um, and then coming down to the bottom, there's not a ton of space down here. As you can see, our toiletry bags aren't huge, but there's just, they're not, they're taking up basically all of this space here on this side. So not a ton of space if you're someone that has like multiple adults sharing a room, something like that. A bunch of ladies that like to travel with a lot of stuff, talking about myself, then it definitely, if there were more of me in this room, there wouldn't be enough room on this shelf for all that stuff. So just to note that not a ton of like storage space there. You could store it in the room, but not a ton there in that. On this left wall there though, you do have your lighted makeup mirror, a couple of outlets for plugging in that hair dryer and the light switch for this. And then the hair dryer is just right down here in that little black cinch bag. Coming around to the actual bathroom, here on the door on the outside of it, you do have your full length mirror, so you can do your outfit, mirror selfies, all that good stuff before you head out the door. Obviously, you have a toilet. It's kind of a staple in a bathroom, so I mean, the obvious is here as well. You do have your toilet paper and your trash can there, light switch, and a rack back here for a couple of towels, things like that, and then extra TP there on the back. Now this toilet, I will say, is quite short. So my toddler does not need her normal little step stool that we would bring and utilize in other hotel rooms. So I just wanted to note that it's it's kind of short. I'm 5'3", and um, it's short for me. So it's it's a little small. Just random fact about, fact about this room um, because you just really clicked on this video to find that out. Um, but that is one of those things. And then in here you do have a tub and shower combo. So if you are traveling with little ones and they need to do bath time, you're all set. You don't have to worry about it. You do have your sliding glass door in here. And then in the back, you do have your Disney toiletries. You've got your body wash, conditioner, and shampoo. Spinning around to the other side, you just have your traditional shower head up there, and then two little shelves along this side wall here. Have some soap in there for you to be able to use if you want a bar of soap, and then just basically your on-off <laughs> little um, twin spinning little on-off spot over there, and your drain, just basic bathroom things, you guys. So that's kind of what that's looking like. I do appreciate that they have a large like step over here, um, so you do have other spaces besides those two little shelves to set any to extra toiletries, things like that, um, which is really, really nice. And then you do here behind the door have this one single little rack for any hanging any towels, things like that in the room. If you brought a robe, that sort of thing, you've got that behind the door. And then you do have one other like actual on the back of the door. Um, so you have a couple of places to hang, but not just a ton in this room. Coming out to the main living area, this does have the option of being an adjoining room. So if you are traveling with multiple people, you want to one big happy family, say you're traveling with grandparents and you want to have a connecting room, you can do that. Or you can know that the rooms are connecting and if you don't want a connecting room with grandparents, you can request, hey, can we be separated? Because everybody needs their space at the end of the day. I'm not judging. And then you do have a space there to park your stroller inside of the room. That's my Upper Baby Vista double stroller. So you can see it does fit in that little space pretty nice. And so it 
is nice to know that that is somewhere you could place it. You could also put a pack and play there if you weren't wanting to bring the stroller in or you wanted to put it somewhere else in the room. A pack and play would fit there as well. If you've watched any of my other videos though, a inflatable toddler bed would not sadly. So just noting that coming around to this side of the wall, you do have your large flat screen TV and then your dresser. You have a bit of storage right under kind of a shelf there under the TV itself. And then coming down under that, you have lots of little outlet places. You have two outlets, two USBs. And then on this side, again, same thing. I have a little extender plugged in. So I'm charging a few things, computer, got the sound machine plugged in, our little charging station for phones, camera batteries, things like that. Cause I do vlog our Disney trips. And so lots or quite a bit of storage space here on that shelf. I love that you can kind of push things back and it's like two layers, which is pretty nice. Coming down into the actual dresser, you do have a drawer on this side, which you can fit a few things in, which is pretty nice. Same thing, it is mirrored exactly the same on this side is what I'm showing you here. And then you have a little cabinet door there. And so you could set like a tote bag or any kind of things that you needed to kind of get up and out of the way if you wanted to keep the room feeling a little more large and tidy, especially if you have a full five people in this room, highly suggest kind of storing things away. We have a little setup going on here in this top drawer, got our diapers and wipes and pajamas and everything ready for bedtime after a long day in the parks. And then those next two drawers are the exact same size, so I will not bore you with opening all of those. Continuing on down this wall, you do have a little sofa, like fold out bed. So it's a sofa during the day, and then it folds down into a twin size bed that you can use in the evening. So depending on if you need that fifth sleeper, not all of the standard rooms come with a extra sofa bed. Some just have the two queen beds. Um, so if you are needing that, let them know. And and obviously for us, we were sleeping five people plus an infant in this room. So we were kind of prioritized to have one of these because we did have a fifth person in this room. And so they, um, my daughter who is four will be able to sleep on that. And again, at the end of the video, I will show that all folded out so you can see what that looks like. But during the day, you have a sofa that you can sit on. And then coming up behind that, because I just think this is so beautiful. I love this artwork. If I had a beach house, like I would buy this and put this in my beach house. That's so cute. It's a picture of the Beach Club Resort with Huey, Dewey, and Louie and their Uncle Donald. It's just lounging and relaxing there in the back. And then you do have a floor lamp here with a nice little table here around that. So you can kind of see a little bit of storage space for like putting any um, drinks, cups, things like that. If you are hanging out, working in the room, you have another space that you can use. <laughs> Don't mind my children who are on the balcony with adult supervision. My mom and my grandma are both out there with them. So I'm not putting my children on the balcony unsupervised, but they are out there. <laughs> They're ready to go to Magic Kingdom. So as soon as I finish this, that's where we're going. But back to the room tour, spinning around to the side of the room where the bed is. So on this left side, you have Daisy enjoying an ice cream sundae over at Beaches and Cream. You've got your light switch here for the main room. So the main overhead light that is up there. Sadly, no ceiling fan. So those of you that are fan people, I hate to disappoint you, but there is not a ceiling fan in this room. There's AC, obviously. So you can stay comfortable that way. But if you're a fan person, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but there's not one in this room. So sadly, no nightstand on this side, which is a bit of a disappointment, but it is what it is. Just wanted to note that. And then you have your two queen beds here on either side. You do have quite a large nightstand though in the center, which I guess kind of makes up for that. So you have different shelves here in kind of a tiered fashion. And then you do have two outlets, two USBs, your in-room phone. And so you've got some room to like lay things down, whatnot. And then you have two rather large drawers, in my opinion, for a nightstand in a hotel hotel room. So this is like a computer, a laptop computer, a little MacBook um, that's laying in here. So that's pretty cool. You've got, they're pretty deep. So that's nice. You could definitely fit even packing cubes, things like that in there. If you're an unpacker, you have room for that other drawer, kind of exactly the same. And then I love the detail of kind of the shell work here on the headboard. And then this just kind of design on the headboard as well. I think that is so pretty, both of those. Very tropical and beachy. 
coming over, you can see that there is storage under the bed, which is awesome and such a nice improvement here at Beach Club. They didn't used to have that, and I'm very excited that they now do, and so many of the resorts are switching to this. I think it's genius because it gives you somewhere to unpack and stow that suitcase away. It gives kind of a cleaner look to the room without having to have them like laying about inside of the hotel room, which is really, really nice. Coming over here, this is actually where my two-year-old is sleeping. So she is sleeping in one of the complimentary uh, roll away um, pack and plays or actually mini cribs. They also do pack and plays, but this is a mini crib that Disney provides. Sorry, my kids are outside. It's just, we're reality here. But this um, was complimentary, like I mentioned. All you have to do is on your phone, you can press the housekeeping button and let them know, hey, I need a pack and play. I'd like a mini crib. You can do bed rails. I have a bed rail over here. I'm gonna try to put on this bed when I fold that out for my daughter tonight. You can get obviously extra towels, blankets, things like that. So anything that they would normally bring. This is just another one of those. It doesn't cost anything, which is great. So no extra fees. And one last thing that you have to worry about packing or renting for your child when you're staying here. I just bring my own slumber pot and we are good to go. Love using that with my girls and it helps them sleep really nice in the evening. And then over here, you can see we have our sleep sack and then the baby monitor just kind of tucked away in there. Have a nice large mirror up here. So someone else, like you've got two people at the sink, you could use this and someone else could be getting ready here. And then you do have a desk chair here for someone to sit in, they could work. And then also this is a roll away table, which is really, really cool because you can pull that out, take it over to the couch over here and be able to sit on it and get some work done, eat dinner, whatever you need to do. Or if you have multiple people in here and they're working, say you're a couple and you're working remote, you could both have a little like desk space to work out, which is really, really nice and cool. So I think that that is awesome that they have that in here and I really like it a lot. But that's gonna do it for the inside of the room. I'm gonna pop outside, show you our view from our standard view room, and then we'll show that bed folded out tonight. Here is our rather large balcony. So I don't believe all of the rooms here have these large balconies, um, which is kind of a bummer because it's awesome and I wish all the rooms had these, but we did luck out and get one. So that's really nice. You can definitely request it when you check in. And then as far as our standard room view, this is kind of what it looks like. So we are staring at the roof, which I don't mind though. It feels like a resort view to me honestly you can see the dbc portion of the um, resort right there and then over here this building right here is the solarium so if you've ever walked in there and kind of hung out watched tv then you know exactly what room i'm talking about it's great space kind of a little more quiet you can grab some dinner at the quick service and head over there if you want to chill out but that is kind of our view and the situation of what our standard view room looks like here and this is what that fifth sleeper bed looked like all folded out and so it was great we could attach a bed rail to it for our little girl which worked out perfectly but i hope you guys have enjoyed coming along for today's room tour i have a whole playlist full of different room tours so if you're still looking trying to decide which one's best for your family i'll have that playlist popped up here on the left side of the screen but thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time